Welcome to TechSart in uh, Bussy Saint Georges, close to Paris. Again, we show you uh, new products and new videos about uh, this time the Manger Z1 loudspeaker. Manger is a company that is born about 50 years ago. Uh, they patented the principle about uh, the way to reproduce sound and the speaker is unique and actually really different from what we can see anywhere else. Uh, its performance are absolutely astonishing. They are something that uh, hardly any driver in the world can meet, match. And um, please come with us and we will discover together this uh, loudspeaker, which is unbelievable. Here is the Manger Z1. It's a Biblio. It's a a stand speaker, as you see, and it's quite big. The volume is uh, big enough to allow uh, a deep, really deep bass. Uh, these are granted by a closed box. Closed box is a box that, uh, yes, uh, has uh, um, the, um, the bass curve is uh, going to start uh, uh, to decrease uh, before respect to a reflex one but it extends down to the 20 Hz and below. So uh, this is the reason, but also the big advantage is that it, there is no delay in, uh, in sound. And this is done because the speaker, the MSW that you can see here, is a speaker which has uh, exceptional performances uh, in terms of uh, um, impulse and uh, step response. Um, this speaker is a very peculiar speaker born uh, about 50 years ago, designed by Joseph Manger, and uh, that worked together then with uh, her daughter Daniela. Daniela is still uh, uh, developing this uh, loudspeaker. Uh, very recently, I think about one year ago, came out with the sixth generation, and this is the one. Uh, aesthetically, is about the same. You cannot really see but performance is changes and uh, you can hear about them. Uh, the, the speaker is uh, very peculiar, as you can say. You can see it is uh, a very soft membrane and very light. The overall mass is uh, 0.5 grams and uh, this allows uh, to create a, a very precise uh, reproduction of music and also noises. The difference between a speaker and another is about uh, uh, a speaker born to make frequencies, this is born to make anything, uh, whatever we want. And uh, precision is uh, his really po main point. It is uh, a speaker that uh, uh, can go up to 60k kilohertz and down to whatever we want and then the limit is the, uh, his uh, uh, X Max is a uh, displacement, it's only 7 millimeters, so we cannot really uh, put power on bus because uh, it will not reproduce it, it will arrive to the end very soon. Uh, but uh, if you use it starting about 150 hertz, this is the case, I don't know exactly what is the crossover frequency in this speaker, but it works and then uh, we don't need anything else. Uh, the speaker, as I said, is very peculiar. I go and I show you one. Here is the speaker, as you see, it's very di different. Actually, <laughs> when you want to design the, the, the box, uh, you will not use that a small parameter that, that doesn't work. Uh, this, uh, this speaker is, uh, as you see, very flat. This membrane is over here. The coil is uh, about around this. And uh, the way it works is like when we drop a, a stone in the water, you can see that uh, some concentrical rings are created and moves to the external. This is the exact way it works. The sound is generated in the middle and go move towards the, uh, the borders and then when it gets extinguished by this uh, mousse that we can see giving this star shape. Uh, the, this is only the reason of these mousses, as uh, we could be without. The speaker, as uh, I, t I told you, with uh, his very uh, light uh, weight and uh, uh, has an impedance which is basically flat. It has uh, a um, um, phase, acoustical phase and electrical phase, which is zero all over. The, 
and this is basically unique and give the opportunity really to create any sound. The, uh, I think it's uh, six microseconds, the, the step, uh, the slew rate. So it basically is something that is uh, actually used in all laboratories of the world to create noises and sound. Anybody that needs a precision source of sound basically use this uh, loudspeaker and is also used in many 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 studios recording studios all over the world uh, there are a couple pages of uh, uh, of names uh, each line uh, has uh, three studios on it but you just go in the in the web and you can see it back to our speaker this uh, uh, this speaker is uh, still accepted on its size and uh, you can place in the room and uh, the once it is well positioned, which is uh, not difficult, but must must be precise, uh, especially the distance between the listener and the speakers, and the way the speakers are angled, uh, that must be really uh, symmetrical. Uh, then we can create an image which is uh, really astonishing. It is uh, really feeling like having the. Uh, the singer in uh, present in the room and you can go in another room behind and uh, beside and still uh, think that the, the singer is there and uh, which is uh, one of the biggest point of this uh, of the speaker and any place we go in the room it's uh, the listening is, is great the image is still there everything is precise everything is done difference between listening this uh, sweet spot and outside is just that it, the sound in the sweet spot is slightly more complete, especially in the high frequencies, uh, as uh, basically there is no difference. And uh, uh, it is very easy listening. It's something that we can uh, use uh, uh, even working, we have the, and we just uh, listen the music uh, beside in, a, in an angle of the room, and, uh, and still uh, we are in almost uh, like being in, in front and listening the, the music. Uh, uh, with attention so uh, please come and visit us to listen to the speaker they are really great and uh, uh, they deserve a try because uh, once we test it it's very difficult to come back to something else uh, of course there are many speakers in the world there are some that are exceptional also with uh, more standard technologies but uh, this goes in between the really top so please come and uh, have a listen. Thank you very much.